Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shawcraft One and my old barn door, and I am here to do the flip through of the farmhouse style lap book journal that I had um, showed you how to make the cover on our lap book series. Um, so I finished it and we're going to do a quick flip through. Okay, so on the front you just have this little, um, like a little, it's just an embellishment. And then I have the yo-yo, um, uh, oh my goodness, I can't find my words, snippet roll on the spine. And then this is the back cover. And then it just ties here with some very, um, um, I did some coffee dyeing with some cinnamon and made a little um, tie for it. So it's just tied in a big old, big old messy bow. So we're just going to untie it and dive in. So this lifts up off of here. So this is the fabric that we used. Okay. So we'll start at the front. So in the very front, you have the little flip element. And so this little envelope flips open. And you have a little tag in there. And then you have this little pocket here. So it's a pocket on the side with a little piece of ephemera. And then it's a pocket up here. And I put you um, a playing card tucked in there. And then you open this up. You have a little fabric pocket here with a tag and just a little journaling card. And then this little piece that says, Bless This Kitchen. You have these little pockets here on this side. And again, just some journaling pieces. This is the cutest little poem about a cow. So adorable. And then in the top pocket here, you have just a, um, some cute little um, pieces of ephemera tucked in. Okay. Then you open it up here. And you have, um, I did a belly band here um, with some of my wrapping paper as the background there. <coughs> Excuse me. So I did this. Um, uh, actually, this was sent to me by my friend Gina. She lives in Hawaii. And she sent me this um, in a, the sweetest little package. And I just felt like it had to be used in a journal. So it's a little journaling card. I love her stitching around it. And then you have the little file folder here. You have um, one of the little inserts from a good old days magazine. I love using these in my journals. And then you have like a little vintage um, uh, grocery store receipt, I guess. And then, of course, you have the little um, memo sheet with the pig because he's so stinking cute. And then I gave you this piece with the cow on it. And I, I made it a little bigger than what I would use it as. But I wanted to give you the option to use it as a pocket or something like that so you can trim it down, you know, if you if you don't want it to be that size. So that is all of the goodies that are tucked into the belly band here. Got lots of goodies in there. Then on this side, you have three little fabric pockets. So in the top pocket, you have the farm fresh eggs and the mince pies with the cow on it. Um, and then in the middle pocket, actually, I'm going to take this out of the bottom pocket first so you can see the middle pocket better. So you have this card and this card that's got inking around it and then some um, coffee dyed tickets um, that I added in here. And then in the middle pocket, you have a couple of these little vocabulary cards. And then I love using this in my farm journals with the Southern Biscuit Company. So you have those in the middle pocket. I tried to give you a good mix of vintage and new top goodies in this journal. Okay, there we go. So then we flip it over. We have this sweet little pocket here. It's like a little envelope pocket that I made out of a, um, a vintage book page. Hopefully y'all can see what I'm showing you. So it's a pocket up here. So you have a sweet little tag there. It's got lines on the back. And then I made this pocket, out, our um, tag, I guess you would call it, out of um, one of my sweet friends sent me this and embossed it. It's a paint chip. 
So I didn't put anything on the back. I figured I'd let you. I didn't know if you'd want to use it as a pocket or as a tag. So you can decide that. And then you have the little rooster playing card tucked in there. So those are in the outside pocket. Get those tucked back in. And then inside the envelope, I did, um, this is uh, one of the pages, one of my um, rice paper pages. Oh, I meant to tell y'all that in the last video. I have rice papers now available in the shop. Um, all different kinds of rice papers um, that you can purchase. So if you want rice papers, they are in the shop. Um, this is one of them. So I've used um, the rice paper and then done some labels. And just kind of decoupaged with the rice paper on there. And then inside the envelope, you have a cute little fold out a little notebook type thing with um, collage on the front with those pretty little birds and then here on the very back you have this is a fold out pocket as well um, so behind this pocket here there's a little pocket on the front so you've got a couple of little stamps that my sweet friend Debbie had shared with me and then in this pocket you have a cute little tag with a pocket here so you get a couple of some little pieces little teeny tiny pieces of ephemera tucked into that pocket and then it's beautiful on the back as well that was gifted to me by a friend and then it's a pocket in behind so I just put you a little tag um, in there just to kind of show you that it's a pocket okay and then you have the little my, my sweet friend Debbie Long sent me these um, I absolutely am in love with them so I've been hoarding them for a while but I figured it was time to use them all right, so this element folds out a couple of different ways, okay? So you fold it out this way and you've got a little pocket here with a tag, and this is like a little um, thread spool. And then this is a pocket up here, and you have um, a cigarette card. I believe this was a cigarette card. And then a cute little, actually, I got this in a package that I got from Gail. Um, she sent, um, she sends these little, pieces in, in, in a package and I've been hoarding it forever so I thought I would share it <laughs> in a journal then on this side you have this cute little pocket here so it's a pocket here and you have this sweet little tag with the little girl in her I think that's pajamas but I could be wrong it could not be pajamas <laughs> so you have a tag in that pocket and then in behind the pocket you have um a, a tag and a couple of journaling cards or it, pieces of ephemera that you can use uh, you know in your journal so you have that in there and then it's a pocket in behind here and so I'll put you some goodies a vintage flash card uh, farm life sweet little heart and then farm fresh with the chickens so I put you some fun things to play with in your journal and then if you fold this back this way let's just fold it out you have um, a yo-yo pocket here or a tuck at the top and then I put these cute little you can cut these up and decorate with them or make a little tag out of it however you want to use it and then it's a pocket here this is a fabric pocket and I put some little goodies in this pocket I love this with the cow and then a little handmade tag tucked into there. Okay, so that is what is in that element. Um, it's a stuffed little element. <laughs> okay, so here's your signature. So we're just going to do a quick flip through. I did put some pockets in this one. Um, I didn't in the last one, the one that we did on video, simply because we were kind of, you know, that series was getting a little long. Um, so you have a pocket there. Um, so I didn't put pockets in the other one, but I did put pockets in this one. This is one of my rice papers. Um, and I actually just used it as a page. You have an envelope here that you can play with, decoupage. This was actually, um, I loved it with the, all the stamps on it. And I told my husband, he got his car tag in this. And I said, I want that envelope. <laughs> he just laughed and handed it over. <laughs> Some vintage um, book page, card, ledger, and then I used some just little snippet pieces of the wrapping paper 
in there. This is from that very vintage reader. We have a belly band there. These are from Childcraft Books, which y'all know I love my Childcraft Books. We have a pocket here. And then I didn't realize I had two of these pages together. They were like really, really stuck together. So you get two of these in here. <laughs> and then in the center signature on the tie, you get one of my charms. My handmade charms. So that's a pocket there. I love the pig. He's got the ring in his nose. Okay. Have a belly band on that vintage reader page. That kind of flipped quickly. There's the other side of the envelope, and I just cut it open so you'll be able to use it. Pocket there. I love, love, I've hoarded this paper forever. I finally decided it was time to use it. <laughs> and then you have a pocket there. This paper, too, I've been hoarding. Um, this is from a vintage children's book. Oh my goodness. There we go. And that is the end of that signature. You have another signature in the other side of the lap book. Okay, so then you have, this is tied with sorry silk. Not sorry silk. Seam binding. Okay, so you have a little pocket here. It's got a couple of little, this is from um, my Seven Gypsies papers that I used to sell in my shop. I don't really have any, any in there anymore. Um, and then you open it up. Let me just check the camera and make sure I'm in frame. There we go. This was a greeting card that I absolutely love. And so I made a pocket out of it. So it's a pocket in behind. And back here you have a Hermelinda tag. And then you have this very vintage um, giant postcard. It's from 1948. And uh, it says, Dear Ma, Keep this picture for us. We are just getting ready to leave Mackinac Island. It really is beautiful. The Grand Hotel is wonderful. We are going up to see the docks at Salt St. Marie. Love Luella, I think is the name on there. So I just think this is so cool. And I absolutely love the stamp that's on there. So I added that in. And then you open it up, and I found the cutest, cutest little, these are um, post-it notes. You know, they have the sticky on the back, so I put you several in here and just kind of glued them in. This one says, Love and Barn Life. This one says, Hey Now. I got these at Tractor Supply, if y'all are looking for them. And then you have a little pocket here, and I love this. It says, Country Girls Are Well Preserved. <laughs> and then a vintage catalog card tucked into this pocket. And I love having the little ladies peeking out. Okay, and then here you have a, a pocket that one of my sweet friends made for me. So in the front pocket, you have a couple of journaling cards. Uh, and then in the big pocket, I made a tag. Um, this is from one of my kits. And then you have one of these large recipe cards from Better Homes and Garden. And then behind the pocket, is a pocket, and I just kind of tucked this stuff in there to let you know that it was a pocket, a little game piece, and a little flash card. Okay, these tucked back in here. Okay, and then this opens up. Let me make sure you can see. There we go. Okay, so in the very middle, you have the belly band made out of a snippet roll. And tucked into the belly band are lots of goodies. So you have a guest check tag here um, that I've coffee dyed and put some lace at the top. Um, this is a, a vintage recipe book page from the 1930s. Some vintage ledger. And then a vintage receipt. And I left the folds in it because I think that adds to the um, character or the charm. Okay, so that's what's in the belly band. And then here you have a coffee filter pocket. And I made it so that it's like a belly band in behind. So you have a little 
pretty little journal card that my sweet friend Debbie made for me. Tuck that up back up in there. It's easier to get it to go through this way so that um, the lace doesn't catch. <clears throat> and then she made me these little pieces too, and I just added it onto a dolly and decorated the pocket with it. So in the top pocket of that coffee filter pocket, you have a little memo sheet with the little cannon jar on there and just a little tag. And then in the bottom pocket, you have a couple of tiny little tags and a little playing card. Okay, then down here at the bottom, you have this little pocket here. So it's a pocket right here and you have a goodie in this pocket. Super cute, the land we love. And then in behind, you have a little tag that I made from some little blank tags that I had. Okay, and then over here you have like a triple pocket. So you have a goodie tucked in here. Happy ch uh, Prescription for happy chicks. Keep your sunny side up. Number two, don't get ruffled. Number three, pamper yourself. I love that. And then in the second pocket, I've put a couple of vintage playing cards in there. And then in the third pocket, have that sweet little journaling card. And then it's actually a pocket in behind. Um, so let's put that in there. We'll put that one in there. That one in there. And that one in there. That way every pocket has something in it. So that is that element. Let's see, it goes this way. So that just ties back up. Okay, so that is this side of the lap book. So we'll go over to this side and open it up. Okay, and then here you have an envelope uh, flip out like a, was in the other lap book. Um, but the difference in this one is I put a little piece of twine um, down here through the bottom so that it holds this envelope shut. So this just kind of loops through the twine. And I made it to where it slides back and forth so if it can grow for you. Okay, and then on the front of this envelope, you have a little pocket with a teeny tiny little tag in there. And then in behind the pocket, uh, I just put you a little, little piece of ephemera tucked in behind there just to kind of let you know that's a pocket. So you have collaging there. And then in the envelope, now I've collaged on this side too, in the envelope you have this sweet, sweet little tag here that's um, got lots of stitching. Somebody made this for me and I can't remember who, I'm so sorry. And then you have this sweet little tag tucked in there as well. So that's in that envelope. And then let me just check the camera and make sure I'm back in frame. Then we have... Um, I made another one of those pockets, the little shaker pockets. So it's a pocket here with a little pig journaling card. And then in behind, so it's like a double pocket here. Okay, and it's running away from me. So you have another um, a little vintage catalog card tucked into that pocket. So it's two pockets there. And you open it up and you have a pocket here. So you have a little vintage looking um, bingo card journal card there and then here this is a double pocket so you have a this is the cutest little ode to a cow poem so freaking cute it's from the farmer's almanac from 1936 you'll love it and then you have a little tag there and then in this pocket you have a like a little notebook that one of my sweet friends made for me i love it with all the washi tapes on it so you can actually use this as like for pictures or you can journal in it. So a little booklet there and then another little pocket that you can use somewhere in your journal. So that is what is in that little double pocket there. Then this opens up. It's an envelope pocket here with a vintage book page and it's actually just the index of the vintage book page. Um, but I love using these in collage, so I thought I would share. And then you have a pocket here. So you have a little tag with the twine and a little journaling card tucked in there. 
And then in this one, you have, I've decoupaged this rooster napkin onto this pocket. Um, and it's just a book page pocket. I don't know if you can see the word. So you have a couple of tags tucked into there. Okay, I need to not put that one in there. That's, that's mine. So I'll put something else in this pocket. And then in behind the pocket, you have... Um, one of my, this is from one of my ki my digi kits, and then one of my um, collaged tags here. So a couple of tags in there, and then this flips open. I'm gonna slide it down because um, there's actually a pocket here with some goodies in there. So you have some little goodies. This is like a little sampler little notebook so you can tear these off and use them um, in collage I love this I don't know if it's painted or dyed but it feels awesome so just a little um, little scrap little booklet for you to use in your journal okay and then inside the blue envelope I gave you one of those um, old vintage newspapers that um, I found of my dad's from the 70s oh goodness why is that not going is there something else down in there there we go I just wasn't putting it in the right way okay and then here on the very back um, you have a fabric pocket and in the pocket I have one of those little seed planter envelopes and just put you a couple of goodies tucked into there. So you have a little inventory tag, um, a little index card or um, index file, and then a little journaling card tucked into there. And then you have um, a vintage little recipe card, sweet little tag that I collaged on. And then this is actually napkin with lace for a tag or journal card and then here is another one of those little um, and again I put you several here um, the little memo or post-it notes so you can actually pull these off and use them in your journal but this one says Barnet I forgot and I love it I think it's so cute so let me get these all tucked back down into here there we go and so it just fold back up like this, 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 and this. And then you just take your twine and run it through there and just tie it up in a bow. Or not, or however you want to. And I left um, quite a lot of extra twine on here just so that it would give you plenty of room for your element to grow if it needs to. Okay, so that's that one. And then here is our... Um, signature on this side so you have a pocket here i've slid the whole here we go let me i'm gonna zoom in just a little okay so you have a pocket here and i just tucked that in there to show you that it's a pocket here is some more of those little post-its and this one says fill the barn <laughs> i thought it was cute that she looks like she's running and it says fill the barn hang on okay sorry i had to get a drink Right, so this is a vintage children's book page with some lined paper. This is one of my rice papers. Let me show you the rice papers real quick. These are the rice papers, and there's all different variety of them in here. So you have some farm style ones. You have some floral ones, um, some mixed media ones. All different kinds of rice papers that you can choose from in the shop. Um, and these are wonderful for decoupage and to play with in your journals. Um, you can make um, you can make a page out of them in your journal, like I did. Um, I love using them for pages in the journals. Um, so, and this is not all of them. I just thought I'd show you a little sampling. There's a bunch listed in the shop. These I love to use for decoupage. Um, and they do really, really well. They do kind of like a napkin. So um, that's those. So kind of like the Stamperia, you know, rice papers. But these are my style rice papers. So 
it works good for me. So those I will use um, some uh, some of the wrapping paper, daily paper. This is a childcraft um, book page, and this is a vintage cornmeal. Um, Sack. It's not vintage. It's a cornmeal sack though, and I just thought it went so stinking cute. And actually, this came all the way from my aunt in Florida. I saw she put something on Facebook about this corn, this brand of cornmeal is the best kind to get. And I said, "Oh, I need that bag when you're finished with it." So she mailed it to me. <laughs> so I thought that was super cute. Um, this is a very vintage cookbook page. Um, and this is a little sack. Again, I just put um, some little pieces of the wrapping papers. Oh, goodness, that one's torn. That's okay, though. I'm not going to put anything on it. I'm going to let whoever gets the journal decide what they want to do with it. You can collage over it or however you want to do it. Pocket it there. This is from my farmer's wife cookbook. And then this is one of those very vintage reader pages again. In the center of the signature, you have one of my little handmade charms. And again, these just tie in these signatures so you can take them out when you fill them up and put a new signature in here if you'd like to do that. Put a little pocket there and a pocket there and a pocket there. a sack y'all this was so cool I read there this was like a diet cookbook okay back in the 30s I think and um, I read their menu and holy cow if we did these diets today we we would be full all the time because like they ate a lot of food <laughs> on these diets <laughs> it was neat to read about their diets back then <laughs> This is a Childcraft book page. You got to hurry. I'm sorry it took so long to flip through this. There's the other side of the rice paper. There's a pocket there on a vintage children's book page. And then that's the end of the signature. And then the very last element is a little um, accordion envelope. And so I put lots of string on here so that this envelope could grow as big as you want. Excuse me, I got a hiccup. Um, as big as you want it to grow. Um, but you open it up. Let me make sure you can see. Okay, here we go. Open it up and you have a belly band here. And I just put you like a little vintage ledger piece. And then you have lots of little pockets. So this is a pocket here um, with a little piece of ephemera. And then in behind the pocket, I've tucked a plain card and a piece of ephemera. Got a little collage there. In this pocket, you have the little sunbeam girl, because I think she's so pretty. And a little flower cut out and a little mason jar. And then in the top pocket, you have a little chicken tag. And then I made it so that it's um, gusseted real good. So you can tuck a lot of goodies in this pocket. Um, but I've gone ahead and put a few goodies in here for you. So let me just show you what you have in here. So you have this rooster on burlap and chicken wire fold out. And then I found these at the tractor supply. And so I shared them with you because I just think they're so adorable. Have a move -a week. Don't be a coward. <laughs> Always be a goat getter. <laughs> and rule the roost. So I just thought those were really cute. And a little ledger piece for journaling. And then a large size um, journal card with the cow on it. So those are all of the goodies that are tucked into your little envelope accordion pocket. So that is the end of the Farm Style Lap Book Journal. So um, this will be in the shop when you see this video. It will be available in the shop. So if you have any comments or questions, you can leave them in the comment box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you will. And I hope you have a great day. Big hugs.